Hey y'all. I don't know who needs to hear this today, but I kind of feel like someone might. Um, it's a cautionary tale about caffeine, right? So I know how we roll. I know what's going on in our bodies, but I'm just like you. I, I you know, go through peaks and troughs. My hormones go like this. I manage them well, get them on an even keel, and then they might do a jump or I might do something out of line that, um, you know, makes them <laughs> go into chaos. And then my um, 55 plus, I take 55 plus, uh, not 40 plus now. I took 40 plus for a very long time, probably five years. Um, and <laughs> what I did, like it's been all lovely with holiday time and things, right? with um, stress and things like this. Um, but I've actually been a really good case study for how we need to nurture our adrenals and try and manage the stress, um, you know, which is impossible in daily life, but we can do go some way to helping to manage it, right? So, um, and that's about nurturing your liver as well. But in this particular instance, I want to talk about adrenals and then perhaps go into caffeine. So anyway, it's all been lovely and calm and everything. And then Monday, work day, I ended up getting hits on about six levels. Um, they were house things and things like that, which kind of... I could feel myself going boom, 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 like this, right? And um, really stressing out. And I do self-talk. I do the breath work that I've shared with you guys a lot. I do the clean eating a lot. I do all the things. I practice what I preach. Um, but that night, I couldn't really... Um, I did have one glass of wine too rather than going for a walk, which is what I would normally advise. And that night I couldn't sleep. And I've actually been sleeping okay over the Christmas holiday period where I was, I was struggling with it last year. And those are things that I um, have done too, probably too much Netflix at night, etc., etc. Anyway, long story short, so I... Woke up really early um, on Tuesday and thought, right, I'm heading off to the beach for a walk to get those negative eons from the ocean and to do some self-talk and breath work and just, you know, bring my, um, nurture my adrenals and just bring those stress levels down because these things that had caused it will be around for a few weeks at least okay so I did that and it takes about 20 minutes to drive to the beach and it rained so ew. but anyway the rain stopped thankfully and I got down on that beach and I had the sand between my toes and I was like oh this is what I needed now and I have no idea why because normally in summertime I don't drink coffee coffee and I certainly only ever drink decaffeinated now, pretty much, on the whole. Um, I'm pretty careful with coffee, but I went through what I call triage, which is like intensive care, where I had to knock it out entirely, but I've, you know, I'm in postmenopause now, and things had settled down. I, those turbulent waters had become a lot calmer, so I was getting away with having um, some decaffeinated coffee. But for some reason, on the way back to the beach to get to the computer and work, I drove through McDonald's and picked up a coffee. I'm not a McDonald's eater, but um, they actually do really nice coffee, and it's just easy to drive through and pick it up. Well, well. Um, I've since discovered that McDonald's don't do decaf. They only do a double shot. And I was wired. And my anxiety went through the roof. And it lasted for hours and hours and hours. I, um, no matter how much water I drank, to try, and try and dilute it and bring it down. So this is my cautionary tale about coffee. And certainly um, McDonald's coffee. And there are certain times 
that we just can't cope with it, which I feel like was that was a classic case study of that. The other thing that um, coffee does is it's a liver loader and we really need to look after our livers at this time as well because if we have too much what they call dirty estrogens, you know, our, our liver is our major detoxifier and if it can't, um, one of those what it detoxes is excess hormones so if it can't do its job they will recirculate and um, exacerbate signs and symptoms and uh, maybe go into fat because fat loves storing toxins and things like that so <laughs> that's my rant that is my cautionary tale about caffeine um, certainly if you're on a calm, even keel, and everything's going okay, and you're not really super um, a, a symptomatic with with these peaks and troughs of hormones, you can get away with it. But there are some times when it can be lethal. I don't think the double shot worked, <laughs> um, helped either. So I hope that helps. How do you guys go with coffee? Do you drink coffee? Not everyone loves coffee. And if you do love coffee, have you noticed that it keeps your weight? Have you noticed that your anxiety increases or anything like that? I'd love to be interested. I'd be interested to know. And also, if you've ever had um, an episode like that where you were just wired. It was like really, really hard. And I didn't sleep all last night either. So, because that's how long this half-life is in, a, in our system. Hope that helps.